Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. I want to thank you so much for hitting that play button and coming along for another journey. AAA Cooper passing by over there. Shout out to Trucker D, line haul driver for them. But as we get started on this day, of course, the weather is still uh, <laughs> not the best. And this is a kind of a continuation of the last video. We're doing some pickups. And uh, I'm sure today is going to be a busy day because a lot of these places know that a big storm is coming and they want to get their freight picked up. Uh, so I'm sure I'll be filling this one up and going back and getting another one at some point this afternoon. Uh, we're about 1.30 in the afternoon. So I'm going over here to uh, one of our uh, customers we go to quite frequently. And then back to the Tulsa area. Right now I'm in... Uh, Sand Springs, which is a suburb of Tulsa. Uh, we're gonna hit this first one up here, and we'll see you when we get there. All right, I'm about to pull up to this next one, and I want to first and foremost forgive me for the nasty windshield. <laughs> uh, the other guy who drives this truck went to St. Louis last night, and he said the roads are just covered and all kinds of stuff. So um, I'm sorry for that. Uh, I did try to use some windshield wipers to get it somewhat presentable. <laughs> they must not have had as much ice on this side of town or something. Because it ain't near as bad over here as it is in the other city. Oh, Mr. FedEx Ground. Mr. FedEx Ground. Swing this big 53 up in here. <laughs> Crater City. You just gotta take it slow. Take her slow. Man, I keep forgetting I don't have my window. And this is, you know, you gotta manually roll this baby down. I don't have a, a nice a nice OTR stuff where it's all power. <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to be that black truck over there. Yeah, I'm gonna pull up a little bit. Just a little bit. Cut it a little bit more. There we go. This dock right here, you gotta get it just right. Cause it's got this plate on it that pushes the trailer away. So when you hit it, I gotta get right up on it. So, so, okay, now I'm hitting it up against it. Pull your brakes, put it in neutral, that locks it down. And let's go ahead in here and I don't know how many pilots we're getting on this, it doesn't say. Hey, but I did check my door. No, see anything? No squeaking. Now we just gotta get rid of get this glass. <laughs> so.
headed to, I'm, I've got to go to a place that's 14 miles from here, do a pickup, and then head back into Tulsa because the south southern route guys are swarmed with freight. So I'm going to go over there and take a few of them off their hands and then uh, probably head to the terminal. So I'm going to bring you along with me. We'll see you when we get to this next one. All right, we're about a mile. Well, no, we're like half a mile from my next one. I always try, if you're brand new to the channel, I try to turn it on just a little bit before I actually get to the stops because I want, uh, I want you to kind of see kind of the area that I'm in versus just all you saw was a stop. So this is the really older part of Tulsa here. This is called Pine Street. We got all kinds of construction, so this isn't the easiest. I mean, it's easy to back into this place. It's just, uh, you gotta make sure you miss some cones here. <laughs> this place never looks like it's open. Come in here slow. that door right there we get that trailer swung all the way over there and how you do that is just kind of come back over this way okay there we go now we got it the direction we need to go <laughs> I just hate hitting people's docks really hard that's why it kind of sl starts slowing down there it goes all right. See, that's what I try to do. If that means it takes me forever to back it, then no well. <laughs> uh, let's go see what these guys have for us. when you come out of that place uh, now we're headed to uh, for another pickup it's like just one pallet it's like 110 pounds so you know you gotta send the A-team over there to get them big one pallets weigh 110 pounds <laughs> this is that uh, place you gotta kind of work your way back through a kind of a neighborhood area to get to I actually enjoy this pickup uh, a lot of guys don't like going to this place just because it's kind of tight and you know the only thing is the only thing that I, I do have some concerns about but I'm thinking the type of company they are they probably have their dock taken care of so that shouldn't be a problem so it's only like a mile and a half two miles from here uh, so I'll see you guys when I get there all right so just up the street here from Senor McElroy location we got homes over here, post office over there, stop sign right here. Roads, the roads looking pretty decent over here. some ice melt down on theirs see cuz anytime you have these docks that are sloped down like this these little single axle trucks well even a dual axle wouldn't matter you, you can't get any traction to pull out of them that's why it's nice that they have some here you can see everybody's been turning right here There's another trash can Another thing, trailer's pointing that way, so we're gonna get it where we need to be going by just giving it a hard left here. Act like we're leaving. Come right over here by this pole. Roll my window, my fancy window down, it squeaks. Not too bad that time. Throw it in reverse. And 
make sure I'm not too close to that fence over here. Nothing's, they haven't put anything over there, something back here, but I'm far enough away, I don't want to worry about it. About lined it up perfect first time. I think we're gonna be right about there. headed all the way to Wyoming, Gillette, Wyoming. So if you happen to live up that way, I uh, hope you haven't had a ton of snow, but I know you guys know how to how to deal with that snow up there, but a little bitty package on its way. All right, well, we're headed to the next one, going to our uh, dog food place, place that has all kinds of, well, not just dog food, pet food in general. Uh, and it's going to be uh, probably an hour and a half wait like it always is once we get there. So I'll see you when uh, when we arrive. All right, we made it to uh, United Foods, and this is uh, this is OTR land, and us LTL carriers and OTRs over the road truck drivers. I'm supposed to be in door one. We gotta wait for this truck right here, I think, which is backing up into one of those parking spots over there. So we're going to blindside this one. Man, there's a truck behind me. So I gotta go in that door one. I don't wanna have to spin it around up in here. Go ahead. check in <laughs> that guy right there in that trailer he's like uh, yeah I seen you I, was, I didn't think he's gonna blindside that in there 
He goes, you did it pretty good. I said, I appreciate it. He goes, what was that thing on your hat? I go, uh, just a camera it records things. And he's like, oh, okay. He goes, I didn't know if that was some type of uh, coronavirus uh, protocol for you guys. <laughs> I was like, no. <laughs> I said, no, sir. Um, that's just a, just a camera. Uh, but... Well, I'm going to be here probably for a while. I did have to tell them we have a tote on here. And anytime, this place won't take any, they won't load you if they think you have hazmat on your trailer. Um, and so I have a big tote on there, but it's just, it's just a oil. It's a non, uh, non, there's no hazmat. It doesn't, it don't have to be placard. It's nothing like that. So I had to let them know that in there. Cause if you don't, I, you'll see that red light back there. It, it'll like go green, like real quick. And, this guy will come walking out and going, well, we can't load you because you have hazmat. And so anytime they see those big drums, they immediately think of hazmat. But it's not, I told them, I said, guys, it doesn't have a hazmat uh, placard on it. It doesn't have a label on it. It's not hazmat. So hopefully they'll go ahead and load me. Uh, but I think that's going to do it, guys. I appreciate you so much for stopping by the channel and spending a few moments with me. And, um, you know, just seeing what... Uh, what an LTL truck driver does all day long. And I hope it finds a little bit of entertainment. I hope more than anything this helps some of you who are thinking about getting into trucking. Uh, I don't know if you can take your dog in there, Mr. <laughs> but maybe you're thinking about getting into trucking and maybe local or maybe you're already in trucking. Maybe you are one of these OTR. Maybe you work for Warner. There's a Warner truck right there. And you're thinking about, you know, taking a, a job and working at home. You know, a first-year LTL driver is going to make about 65000 a year, somewhere in there. 70 depending on if you work the dock. Um, and then every year that's going to go up because you get a raise every six months. And then you also, uh, and then you top out at pay, which I think top out pay right now is around twenty eight fifty something like that per hour. And then, you know, it opens up to line haul, which those guys right now are topped out at, I think it's 74 and a half cents a mile. It's just crazy. Um, but there's a lot of a lot of great options when it, when it talks about when you get into LTL, less than trailer load, which is, again, what I am versus that gentleman right there. You know, he, he lives in that truck. You know, he stays at shippers and receivers for who knows how long and... Um, yeah, and some people love doing that. There's nothing wrong with it if you if you do like doing that. That peat over looks pretty nice. Uh, but you can tell Freightliner rules the roost. Look at that. There's, uh, what, four Freightliners right there? Five Freightliners and one peat. <laughs> we got a Kenworth here and a Volvo right here. But that is the most common uh, truck that's out here on the road is that, that Freightliner right there. A lot of guys, a lot of companies have them because they're, you know, that you can get them fixed really quickly. Uh, parts are relatively available everywhere. They've got most of them have the DD15 engine, which is just a beast of an engine. Now they are called freight shakers for a reason. Those guys will shake the filling right out of your mouth. <laughs> I know because I've I trained in one, and um, good reliable trucks. But man, them things are nothing like that Peterbilt over. That Peterbilt over drives more like your car does, um, but to me, isn't quite as reliable as uh, a Freightliner. But that's enough of me rambling on about trucks. Thank you so much, again, for stopping by the channel. But until I see you at the next video, I hope each and every one of you have a blessed rest of your day. And remember, life is way too short to sweat the small stuff. Make sure you make it sweet.